Okay. We are live. Hope. So. Um. Just a little bit early because I was just got some coffee, and now I'm settled. So. Uh, hi, four more. Yes, I guess it would be like New Year's. All that hype, all that build up, and then, you know, when it's over, you can breathe a sigh of relief. That's exactly what it feels like here. Um. So now I figured, first of all, since they've updated the uh, posting, I thought I would have a look. what they actually have to offer. Um, so this is it. You can scroll down in a minute. So here it is, according to this it's going to release in about an hour, but according to my calculations probably around 45 minutes. And they have updated with an awful lot of content. I must say I did not expect this, because the last time sharing this in Discord was here talking about three things, and that's the paid thing. Wow. Okay. Let's have a look at some of them. Uh, the Nature Pack. This looks like it's going to be, yeah, of course, mostly trees. Probably some, yeah, flowers, some grass. That is cool. I like that grass. Um, then the next thing would be the castle. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I like the castle. Hey, Mohammed. Welcome to the stream. Ah, this is the most highly anticipated software I think I've ever gone through whatever reasons um, now I would presume that this is modular by the looks of things because they did say that certain things wouldn't be able to fit together modularly modularly And, um, let's see, just boost this sound up a little bit. Where did it disappear to? Okay, this should be good, I think. So anyway, here it is, the, uh, all the castles. Then the next thing, house pack. Oh yeah, yeah. This looks like it's modular as well. The fitting all of the different components together to create presumably um, different styles of houses. This is going to be really good to flesh out those um, bigger cities. Raheem Demon's Castle Pack is next. Oh wow. 
yeah, very sinister. Um, then the next one is the uh, Furnishes and Ornaments 1 and 2, which may have changed slightly from the SG version, SGB version that I had. Yeah, the designs are pretty much the same, but I think they looks like more some more have been added and in the second volume and you can probably probably see this here it's um this is a feature for sure it is the quality of that you can have higher textures you can have normal maps mask far far cry from um what was you know sgb and you know you gotta you gotta think that sgb was a 32 bit and Bakin is a 64 bit so it's got to be up to date especially with the graphics So yeah, that is cool. What was it? The next one, landmarks. Nice. <laughs> you got a you got a favorite so far. Um, I like the I like the lighthouse and the skull. That is so cool. Next one, Modern City Pack, which is paid. It's is probably the same as the one for SGB, but most likely has a few additional bits into it, like you can see that fog effect. That is cool. That is really cool. Um, and of course you can mix, oh here it is, you should, should have really had a look at how many models there are in this pack, I didn't think about that. So, another nature pack, all kinds of rocks, uh, 48 models, including variations so yeah this is this is going to be pretty pretty cool and that will open up the gateway to um creating really cool gnarly um landscape so the outdoor Bear in mind, this is the first time I've seen these because I haven't really been paying too much attention. Oh, wow. That pirate ship. Wow, that pirate ship. That is cool. Hey, Shiz. And welcome to the stream. Ah, this is this is a really nice pack. Some tents. Uh, sort of looks like a um, Roman tent. Uh huh. Lots of different things. It's kind of like um. Almost like a Greek temple, partial temple, whatever. Stained glass windows, and I know you can actually have the uh, proper settings for those. 
probably cover all that later. Um, then the ruins pack. I like that. That's got a lot of potential. Old roots there. Old pile. Block. Really, really. It's like I, I, I kind of feel like a kid in a candy store. Because as I said, this is this is all new to me. These packs are new to me. Um, I knew about some of them, but not all of them. So, second ruins pack. Oh my yes. Wow. Wow. Do you guys have a particular sort of favorite pack right now? Because this is mine so far. So let me let me know. Let me know what from what you've seen so far. Um multiple parts such as columns, walls, foundation, thirty-nine height. That is um so next would be uh, is it sound I wonder if it's got any samples working on oh, sixty seven music forty seven sound. Thirty two middle and four hundred and two sound effects. That is a hell of a lot. Okay, come to that later. So the vacuum et <coughs> effect. This is this is the part when I knew about it. This was the part that I got kind of um most excited about because these effects um, can be. It it, it is uh, FX here. I think I got that right. Compatible, and a lot of these kinds of things you can sort of make in that. There are other tools that you can have. That that's the kind of. Um, you know there are other tools that you can have. Some effects made, and then you can. Pretty much use them like that. High quality. I don't know how to create these kinds of special effects yet. But judging from that, you, you can create some absolutely epic things, right? Probably go through a few of these when let's go live. Um, I got the ancient western and monster pack. Hmm. 
Yeah. I like it. I really like this. So what does this actually have in the way of content? 118 models plus 17 model variations. So the building parts, yes, this is the mod modular thing that they were on about. Um, 23 interior, 9 props, and 10 plants, and 6 sample mats. Good, good. It's always good to have sample mats. Um, four more, I think. Yes, they will be exportable. Um, I will detail more about that, like, a bit later, because, um, well, after its release, um, you know, there's basically, like, a I plan to have tutorials on creating the uh, effects in various places and then how to import them into, you know, into Viking proper. Um, and yes, the effects viewer is super nice to have. It's much, you know, it's a good, good, solid quality. So we have, uh, had a look at the ancient pack, two more now. The ancient pack would be, I don't know what that would be in dollars, like 30 99 which is good conversion in a minute. Um, so it would be, a, I don't know, according to xd.com, it'll be about $35 for that and 35 for the western pack. Um, since I'm based in the UK, I don't really know the prices, so perhaps somebody can tell me. This would have to be my second one. Um, I think this is, I think this one was an SGB too. You know, like a nice atmosphere, ambience would be coming in. Just imagine like, um, do, 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 do. You know what I mean. Um, the uh, sound track to Mr. Dollar's track. So here we are building parts 90 for the modular. Interior parts, 11, 136 props, that is a ton, 12 plants, 12 firearms, firearms, a locomotive set. Oh yeah. wonder if it does have locomotion in it. Have a look at that one. Yeah, the whistling. Can't whistle. So that's going to bug me now. And then the final one in this one is 3D Monster Pack. Very cool. Oh, here we are. That's the one from one of the trailers. Epic. Uh, thirty nine ninety nine each. Modern city is twenty nine ninety nine. Thanks for that. Um. Yeah, XE tends to be a little bit uh weird regarding um its currency conversions. It's not always reliable, but it at least give. I was, it was close. I said about thirty five. 
There's the slime. You gotta have a slime. Um, 14 monsters. That is cool. Right, that takes less than an hour. Less than an hour. So probably 15 minutes. 15 minutes left. So a lot of, a lot of this now is um just watching this and creating the maps um it does actually make it a hell of a lot easier because in sgb you were sort of limited for the map and you couldn't kind of like fine tune it or anything but when you were creating models you, you have to make the models so that they're kind of like pixel perfect and they just fit together this on the other hand is a little bit more refined and as you've seen no doubt for um, all of the demos that they've released you can scale them up or down you can move them precisely and it's it's honestly it's really really very useful so before the uh, download proper. Yeah, this is it. That model. I wanted. I wanted to watch this because um, that. I bet you that scaled up to something ridiculous, like two hundred. <laughs> but you know, before before it actually goes live, according to my time zone. Um. I don't know, you know, ask any questions and I will see if I can answer them based on what I know already. Uh, the other place I should probably go actually is the Steam Workshop. Okay, that's... Not yet. So there it is. Visit the workshop. I, I will visit that after everything is official. But yeah, from here. I think I'm going to create a lot of stuff. And I do expect a lot of um, people developing games in there. Uh, I will start showcasing it. And doing some tutorials as well. I believe Amalgamash is also streaming at the moment. And, you know, he's probably got a different perspective on that. You know, mine is unique, his is unique. No doubt he is going to produce content for this. And so will I, and so will a lot of other people. And that's the cool thing about this, is it, it's more in line with some of the other engines. It's, we will not compare Smile Game Builder and Backheen because they are from the same company, but they are two different things doing the same thing in different ways, if you see what I mean. So yeah. It is very exciting. You know, it is very exciting to be a part of this journey 
and in fact um, all of the journey you know smile booms journey from its earliest beginnings as smile bed game builder where I was beta tested that and you know I'm eternally thankful for that so what kind of UI options will there be? Well, it the UI options are there. Um, I think maybe you know we we will. That's something I would like to cover as soon as this release because I'm not I'm not gonna do it before it's officially released. It's gonna be to be fair. But um, with the UI options, it has it in the form of layouts, as we shall see, um, where you can add things, basically create, um, create your own custom menus. Um, I'm still work, you know, still kind of like working on ideas for menus, so that could be part of the journey, and then anything that I learn. Along the way then I'll put some tutorials up and it might even become like a regular series <clears throat> smile the game builder packages the models are or should be compatible with Vikeen I mean they essentially have the same settings um, I think probably about 90, 90 99% of the models will be you can import them the same way that you did in SQB. Um, and, um, you know, you can scale them up, scale them down. You can add things. No problem. Um, they also said as well that it is possible to import entire SQB projects into Vikeen, but there will inevitably be like errors, compatibility errors, like say specifically with the events, because um they're different setups. Sometimes the models will be a little bit off or the maps will be a little bit off because of certain settings that SGB has that Vikeen changes. Um if we have time in this stream, I will <laughs> try to import um, one of my SGB projects in so you can have a look a brief look at what happens so something like a scene in unity yeah craft a scene um, you could it could be classed as a scene I guess um, and something like that but we have I don't know according to my timer probably about 10 minutes left before launch you know Um, the other thing that I, uh, the, I think I am going to reveal something, um, where are they? I'm looking at stuff on the, on the other screen. Um. This needs a bit of work. But this is one of the trees I was working on. A couple of other ones that I have been experimenting with in Blender. But this was only because I was learning how the hell to do it finally. I think it worked out quite well. Let me 
shapes sizes that needs a little bit of work the uv mapping for the tree just not quite right and then this one is like an autumnal fall might import one of these into Bikeen and see how it does. Um, yeah, so there's also now this is this is one um this is one of the ones from uh, the untitled the game that i had planned on creating in smile game builder and a bit later perhaps in a, in another tutorial I'll show how to create the proper lighting so this light is is like backlit and the let individual letters are backlit as well um like a willow yeah yeah definitely like a willow i don't know exactly how many Polys it is, um, but it's certainly more than Hakeem, I mean more than SGB did. Let's have a look. Um, I should say, for the last tweet I did, um, well there you go. Seventy five, seventy six thousand. That should give you a little bit of idea. Of an idea. I will be right back. Let's have a look. The other one, um, eighty-five thousand. Oh wow! That one doesn't even have a. Right there, you go. Not properly optimized yet. I'll get there. 85 for that one. And the previous one. 79. So you, you can get, I know the vertices, so you can get like a, a bit of an idea how many there are. Um, now the other thing 
is um, one more thing. I actually modeled this from one of the gravestones that's in the, the graveyard um, down the road. I really love this. Loved forever, never forgotten. That one would be dedicated to my dad and my grandfather. Okay, so that is pretty much it. I don't know. Um, it says a little bit about according to the Steam page, it's not updated yet. T minus, T minus. <laughs> so according according to uh Just checking in the Discord. Yeah. <laughs> it's not available yet. Okay. Now here here's the thing. If you've been if you've been following me, you will obviously notice that I have had quite a few games, projects, etc. That um, I have sort of started and not finished, and there is a reason for that. But one of the ones. Um, Of all of these projects, you can see I would like to create one project at least in vacuum, but at this point, I'm not sure which one. It says the Enigma of the Wolf, which was. Um, the game jam quite some time ago and then there was um the gladiator program which was meant to be for ash's latest um game jam i didn't do that because time constraints and i was it wasn't in a stable condition to be able to um submit most likely this is the one that I am going to create. Um, and of course, all of this is still doable in Vakeen. Now to use that. But the idea was 
that um, it's going to be obviously it's going to be in the gladiators and uh, we'll just flip through this kill him off already so we can go straight into actually no I'm gonna continue because this is a there's a nice effect that I did for um, if you reach 25 turns I'm only doing this because it's kind of like you know T minus and it's got to occupy the stream somehow but it's it's also a means of like saying um You know, trying to decide which game I'm going to do in back in. All right, come on. The heal is not that many to go yet. Um, Because there's actually this, um, this custom menu that I will see if I can emulate at some point. In uh, there you go. This after 15 turns, bam. And then it will have um. Right, what's your name? This is something that you can also do. I had a, you name your character and then randomize the name. It has awards, um, everything like that. now access the menu so this was the initial menu that i had planned and it is very easy to do in back in or should be ignore that very easy i have a status the inventory and yes this does work too bad I couldn't have finished this in SGB. And of course the equipment is selectable too. If you had um, things you could move around. This was the custom one that I did in SGB. And again, I think it's technically possible to do that. In back in the stats specifically like this will be a little bit difficult because certain settings <coughs> um, and the idea was the codex you would um, people that you would meet same way with the faces that wasn't quite finished best Bestiary or Bestiarum. Same sort of thing. And you can actually still do this kind of thing in Vakim, but cooler. And then the Pantheon. Um, each one of these will expand depending on what you do. There's a bug there. For the lexicon, again, this is the same sort of thing. Um, and this is where it bugs out. Eros Farai. That's meant to be that one. Some factions, some trophies. And then. In SGB, I had managed to get a lot of the settings done. 
record this and I'm not sure to do this in tutorials on or off. Keyboard or gamepad. Element to show content. If you wanted to turn factions off. Keep my dev notes on or off. And then if you wanted to refer to you as the player as either me in the name tag or player name that one was not that's not quite implemented yet but it's the idea and then that is it some an exclusive too many bugs so this is like a cool dresser that I had done it needs a bit of work with texturing but open it up and then that would be it A lot of these here models um, will be able to be imported. It's probably not a problem to a nice little weapon rack. That's the cell door. And then in the beginning battle, that is the entire arena. All of these I'm going to import into back in and the infirmary and then a bed sheet for a flat bed sheet and one that's actually got somebody underneath. That's the bed, the, the That's actually the torch. For the beginning scene. But one of the cool things. About this is that. It's entirely doable. Um. The other one I'm actually wondering if for tutorial purposes you should use this this particular one the um The Explorers Guild, which I started several times in Finnish, so I think um, Romo, the, you don't have to worry about like um, the chat too much because I will have the um, I will show the models proper a bit later. They're not perfect. They're not optimized or anything like that. I created them and then just dumped them in the game. Um, but the proper, you know, somewhere proper to be able to see them. But I do honestly think that, I mean, what, what do you think? Redo the back in Explorers Guild from start to finish. New models and all, 
everything that you would need to create the ultimate explorer's wheel basically translated from my old game builder but improved maps wise i mean you know would that be something you'd be interested in doing or interested in seeing i should say Um, now I'm going to have, I'm going to have, at this point, I am going to pause this stream, or pause this, um, because it's not quite there yet, it's like it's been the longest 30 minutes or so. For me, anyway, it says it'll approximately lock in with um, less than an hour. But yeah, so um, I wonder if we should just sort of like a. Uh, And see what Ash is up to, and then maybe come back to it. Because I... Uh, almost 2 a.m. here, 10 to, 10 to 2. So it's probably like for 10 minutes. Go in there, and I'll be back in here to continue. Let me just keep this going under back, so... Um, That'll be good to see. Yeah. It'd be interesting to create as well because the um tutorials were based entirely upon the Explorers Guild map. And if we can do it like properly, that means preparing the maps properly as well and creating everything from scratch so that it actually fits more logically together instead of just sort of going off to the right and then you end up being able to teleport somewhere else and you know, there was no kind of like logic order. So it wouldn't be a bad thing to put the Explorers Guild in back in and do it properly this time. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have a look. Have a look, see. Well, it looks like, uh, Mr. Ash. Isn't around. And then the other one is Will. When you make a video and then all of a sudden you see this. No, anyway, probably, probably at 2 a.m., which was the initial thoughts anyway, and that means that it's kind of like eight minutes, um, which isn't, isn't such a bad wait, but, um, you know, we've all been waiting for this, and it's kind of like, um, 
It's almost like the, the wait is over, but the anticipation is greater. Far, far greater than anything. Because, you know, they... When was it? They first officially announced it back in September, was it? And they sort of like said, yeah, it's going to be released October 3rd. And then they had to delay it because of things. You know, I get that. It sort of happens. Um, it's just like fortunate that I was able to get the 17th and the 18th off. Um, you know, my boss is really nice. I said, hey, look, this is what's going on. Uh, can I please have that day off? Oh, and by the way, can I have the day before off just in case kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, no problem. And he was really nice, but you know, I did I didn't want to take um take advantage too much. So from uh uh I I got work tomorrow, i.e. Wednesday. It's gonna be four shifts, but next week it's back to five shifts again. And then probably the week after, five shifts, so it's going to be, where do I find all of the time to do all of what I want to do, see? So it's it's one of those really, it's one of those really strange feelings. Yeah, go to work. Um, you know, being at Twilight, it does help a lot. That most of the time I come back so exhausted that the last thing I want to do, you know, I, I, I just wanted to sleep. And um, that sort of sometimes you sleep for like six to eight hours at a, at a time and you're thinking I have to go back to work. Why? Why? I mean, I know that, uh, you know, what, just curious, what kinds of projects are you most likely going to be working on in Baiki? I mean, new ones, old ones, ones transferred. Um, yeah, because I'd be interested to know that. And the reason is, let me show you this quickly. I forgot to do this. And I think this is essential. Um... Now this is the new RPG developer back in Athenaeum. Back in Athenaeum. Um, it's been in the works for a while, but it was officially released before. Simple Dungeon Crawlers. Yeah, it's kind of my opinion. A bit like Fantasy Star. Um, incidentally, with Fantasy Star, the very first one for the Sega Master System, I spent an inordinate amount of time mapping each and every single dungeon. Uh, I had quite a comprehensive thing. Pretty much knew that game inside out. And that's the fun of it. So this is this will be where everything goes. And you have like the official news, which is obviously uh, I am going to change the coloration slightly, but this is where all of the official news uh, from Steam, and maybe from Twitter as well, will go. And then you have like the list of tutorials as normal. Um, everything will go here. Um, again, I'm going to change the fonts and the layouts just so it's just sort of templated. And then all of the assets will go here as well. A collection of my own, as well as others. Um, most notably Jackson's, um, who, whose uh, assets incidentally look absolutely fantastic as always. Um, and then this is where the games will be, the list of games, pretty much the same 
as the SUV after name is cooler and better. Um, and then he, here you have the frequently asked questions, which we talked about there. And then if there are any more from Discord or from things that I'm asked, this is where I will put, put them. Um, and then these two you have some terms of use on the website. Um, this is not properly implemented yet, but it's something that it's working on. But yep, I will keep this super updated. Uh, there are actually two people who are also going to be like uh, hopefully going to be guest vloggers on here so that they can put their own thoughts on that in case they don't have time I should have showed that earlier but I forgot Um, and then this one, this will change eventually. These are the system requirements. Um, yeah. Pretty cool. These are projects that, uh, especially the games, it would be very interesting. No doubt Ash will hold another game jam or three throughout the year. I will not be participating for this year, you know, in, in them. But I may or may not was the game jam myself. Uh, okay, next question I'm throwing out there is what um, with Vakim, what is your most anticipated feature? You know, like uh, certain certain things have been said in Discord, um, but things things that you know that they've they've already announced. What is the most anticipated feature? And I think I think it is live. Now let's get some of it. Okay. This is what, this is the moment that everybody I'm sure has been waiting for. It's just, just been, um, it's just been announced exactly at 2 a.m. Um, here it is. The introductory offer, 10% off, and then SGB, current SGB u users, um, at ten percent, but they were saying in the Discord that it's going to be nineteen percent or something. Anyway, this is it. They already have it, and I will download all of these a bit later. So that's it. That's it. Let's get on with it. Yes. <clears throat> um. It's up. It's up. It's up. And lighting, yes, definitely lighting. Um, this is something I want to show. Okay, so one of the cool things, these are basically create a new one, 
you know, have the history of all of the shit that you've done. Um, this is where you load up the program, the game gallery. Um, these are all of the assets that will appear like the DLCs and the workshop items. They would go there. No, sorry, the DLCs and things will go there. And then the workshop, this is where they would go. Um, and then this is where people wanted to share. It's linked to the Steam API. So if people wanted to show their assets, etc., you can share the screenshots. And then the info and tips. Um, and then this is where you have the configuration. Um, we'll go into all of this like a bit later. Now, one of the things that SGB did not have that Ikeen has is that you can have multiple launches at the same time for whatever reason. Like say, you know, there are two here. So if you were going to work on one project that you wanted to sort of transfer some data to the other, you could literally just open up the second one, copy and paste an event, cop copy an event from one of them, and then directly paste it in there. So now we might as well just create another one. Um, I don't know. Call it the new legend. And the subtitle is the new legend too. Yeah, why not? Uh, so here you can choose what type of map you want. If you want a fully fleshed one, including like the 2D characters, you can select this one. Um, or the simple one is just completely like a blank project. I'm going to, I'm going to create a simple one. And then this obviously like, uh, is where you would change the hero or the cast. Dot cast refers to 2D and cast it's 3d basically i i don't really care for the 2d images or 2d sprites probably because i'm crap at designing them etc and now you have um the different aspects this would be like the same as uh, the SGB where you have the overhead view. Um, this would kind of like be the camera behind the main character. I think that, I think that's like fixed behind it, so that it will follow the character around and it will stay front. This is a first person view, and the way that they have done it is it's kind of like um, you can't switch into first person and then third person. It's kind of purely the first person. And what they've done is they've kind of like made the character transparent but with a camera behind, which is a bit strange, but it sort of works. And then, of course, you have the side view for platforming, which is something I must say I would like to look at. So I am going to do um, I don't know which which one. Let's see. Definitely not going to do the, that one. Maybe do the first person view, even though I know that people often find that a bit sort of, you know, get motion sickness from it. I want to show probably more so how that does. Um, then the character, the actual control method. The normal like left, right, up, down, etc. Normal movement. And then you have the tank controls. Um, you know, in SGB, where I think it was the Q and E or Q and R would rotate left and right. Uh, this is pretty much the same one as that. And for the platform, you have up, down, left and right. Nice camera setting from the start. Absolutely. Um, uh, I might as well go for that one, I think. Now, a, a little while ago, they did actually... Um, Showcase the jump, but in SGB it didn't quite work the way that I suppose it should have. So they kind of like um, didn't implement it. 
even though it was one of the most anticipated um, features. So now you can have a jump and any inertial movement is basically I guess when you sort of like want you to run or move forward, you have that initial kind of like slow down and then you speed up with like in real. I'm not going to do it with that one. And then here it is, I guess. Short edit in game. If you use yes, it'll automatically um, populate the map automatic map generation with all of the elevations and if no is just like a complete flat map so we might as well do that and generate one and then from here I'll go through all of the settings just very briefly because there are other things that I would like to do like namely I would like I am very curious and I'd like to do this in live stream so you should probably laugh at uh, my mistakes and also what's going on I'm going to import an SGB project into Vakim to see how and if it works. And I'm also going to test map size in see the maximum map size to see how much it will take to crash Vakim. Um, so this is this is the new layout. You can see it's a little bit different works a little bit different you have the terrains you can have like instead of being limited to just 48 by 48 as an sgp you can have 64 by 64 blocks this is essentially the same or you can have 128 for which you can add a lot more detail for the objects they are a lot cleaner a lot smoother so let's just no let us position it it up some oh. hang in yeah so that's literally how easy it is I will go through all of these in the um, tutorial with the resources everything is here System resources. I don't know why it's done this. I don't know why it's done this. It's done this. But you can see, you can decide they have sound effects as normal, and then you have screen transition effects from screen to screen, depending on which one doing menu window selection background all of the typical things that um had sgb had and then you have movies you have the movies so it has to be in web m format And it will um, will play. So just as demo, and create another event um, once only. don't know my way around completely I can play the fire it's 
think we can play the movie. Which is really cool. The only disadvantage with this is that movie must play on top. It will not play in the background yet. I'm moving around. It's a bit sort of weird because it takes some getting used to and this is where the motion sickness comes in. And you can see the detail in that. The bump maps, the normals, the high quality detail. And one of the one of the things that I have noticed is that there is kind of like a little seam, like a breaking seam from here. That's where um, the tile doesn't wrap around quite properly, but I will um, get a few tutorials up on how to create proper, um, you know, proper seamless tiles. So the next thing would be the database. I'll have a look at all of this and Maximize this for full satiation, the cast, and the hero. God, here we go. This, <clears throat> this is, uh, there's, there are no cast members yet, because I haven't set them up, but this is a nightmare. Um, I'll show that in the beginning you have all of the basic options. There's a lot more. Pretty much the same settings as STD. But there's the addition of the class and subclass systems. Um, the equipment. You can set up the same, and for some reason these didn't exist when I was min minimizing like that. If you want to add stuff to it, you can add something there. Um, not too many options, I'd say. Add items pretty much the same. So this is where you would create the item. Um, whatever it is. It's, it's, I like I like this layout, I must admit. It's really quite nice. Um and of course. And of course, you have the uh, damage formula. So I wonder. Uh, let's see. This is the same. I wonder if there's like um. Add something here. No, it does the same. It does the same thing. I forgot to point this out. Um. When it was in SGB, I completely forgot about it because I abandoned the battle system. The battles in SGB was a nightmare. And this one seems to be a little bit better. But when you click on this, you will not be able to add stuff directly where the cursor is. It will always add it to the end. And anyway, that's a trivial thing. Skills. Are the same. You can add some skills. You could do later. Um, camera light effect. This is one of the additions. That you can have. Um, let me move the let me uh, move or at least the chat. I know that is sort of getting in the way a little bit. I mean, 
yeah, we'll put it there for now. It's probably not even necessary anymore since it's going to be just for um, on YouTube, and YouTube has uh, the chat replay anyway. Same effects on allies. Still familiar with that? It's the same. And the effects on allies, that hasn't changed too much. So the next thing would be the classes. Um, I don't know, you can add some. Subclasses as well. I will cover that in a tutorial. So the states. Um, you can add some by adding something um, I forget where it's at but there are kind of like a lot more options available for specifically for um, states you have uh, auto damage So say if it was kind of like, um, I don't know, if you had a skill that was dark, dark magic, and you were to cast it on a light magic user, then that dark will start consuming um, the, consuming their energy X amount of turns direct value or the HP rate or the maximum HP rate that fits and they wouldn't be unable to act or they wouldn't be in it, unable to act um, then there's all of these other sessions, settings too okay oh everything pretty much gone so you can actually change the equipment so whatever if you have a skill or um, something you can actually change the equipment nice add an attack count and there was also like um in final fantasy there i think i did a tutorial on it as well the kind of moogle charm where if you it equipped an item it was disabling the encounters well in this case you can cast the spell and then you can disable the encounters and that is a nice feature and we have the attributes pretty much the same so i'm gonna um and the next thing would be is the game definition all of the settings now here is here is an area that I get completely flusticated about because it's not it's not hard to do it's just annoying to do and so smile boom um, probably could probably do this as an improvement um, we're gonna be Doing it from the basic set, I think. Skill models. It will often take a while for this to load. So we can have that one. And I'll add all of the materials. Go a long ways. You can change the amount of starting um, 
amount of starting money instead of having to do it through an event. They have a maximum number of actors or cast members. You can turn off the um, caterpillar number to display and a maximum number of reserve members. So you can still have only four, but you can still sleep. Now this is this is quite an interesting one. All of the settings, if you go into each one of these a bit later, um, the project settings have changed the tu title. Sorry, we're just with um, New Legend live stream version here. And then the copyright notice and the So the random pen settings, this is what they had actually said. Um, you can change all of it to scale. Super high quality, low quality, etc. depending on your target. You can also change the resolution right out of the bat, all the way from 480 right the way up to what is that? Four three twenty. That that's um, even my monitor doesn't even go that high. So basically, uh, a big screen. I don't know if this is going to work because I was having problems with this. But say if one of you that font. wouldn't apply it. Let's see. Ah, uh, no, it doesn't doesn't want to work. Um, I don't know, probably only like Windows default. <laughs> APK, yeah, that's it. My mind went completely blank, all those like big numbers. Uh, I was never very good at math, and so it's like seeing all those big numbers, you're just like, what? So standard, standard again. Um, and in the menu, uh, let's just say quit. We have the config. Okay, I've changed the settings. because I like that one. Um, we have the parameters as well. Change them. All of the battle ones and battle two and the terrain attributes. Okay. So next I'm going to go to the camera tool, just for now. Um, I haven't really delved into this, just kind of like took one look at it and thought, okay, deal with it later, deal with it later. But this is pretty much where all of the camera, cameras are for the inside battles. She doesn't have any motions yet. Battle results. OK. 
Okay, this is way too slow. Have um have a look at those at a later date. Um all of the sprite tools where the sprites go are emotions, expressions, and so on. You can Well, that's way too fast. With each character, um, <laughs> so you can see he has blood. A sweaty smile. And this is where the expressions are. Nice additional feature. I believe that was one of the ones that was uh, tested. And some layout information or layout animation for things like menus. There's so much. This is an American lot of tutorials, that's for damn sure. So you have all of these. Variable labels. Um, <clears throat> this is going to be useful for when you want to see all of the variables or things that are used physically on the map. You can change them. So when you add a variable, I'll add here. Now, finally, here is the layout tool. You know that this was one of the things that was uh, requested. It's everything that you could need. To be able to modify all of this, going all the way down to the status, including to the conversations, the message, the message layout. To the stores, to the battles, now I want to change the title sprite, so what I will do, if they're in red, then that means you cannot edit them, because they are default. You mess with the default, you mess with just the map. So we can copy, paste that one, and then rename this to old. So it does not interfere. Edge. Title. Make sure that this is checked, because then that way it will load this one over that one. For the background, um, various options, and you need to fix these. Say if I wanted to, let's, let's load in a window image. Might as well go for the aggression. So that's got the one. Got to find it somewhere. Um, Uh, 
Wow. I thought I'd organized all this. Why not have this one? Thank you for adding. Um, so, let's scale it, scale it down. Can you use an OV for the cycle background? I guess this is this is what this is. It's just a normal image, and then unfortunately, um, not able to. What would be nice actually is to be able to recenter, just kind of click and drag instead of this. Well, that, that will do for now. So, if you don't like this, obviously like this blue background isn't really good. So, we'll just set this all the way to white. Otherwise, when you fill it, you fill in with the colour. And that way... Um, Oh, I know why, it's because this is actually tiled only, but anyway, background, type the name, change it, then in here, um, change it to top, connect all this up. Also move the background. So here we are. What when you have it with this one, you're visible. You can have a lot of different conditions and settings for this for the game in general. Modify the title, add the title, map name, so on, or party stuff. Class, subclass, party name, and so on. And anybody who's an observed or reserved members, you also have to save data, and there's a lot. Um, adding the items, skills, equipment, which is where you can equip 
the items in the picture book, which is the equivalent of uh, like a, a codex or a, a, you know one of those like um, bestiaries or something. Everything you would need is here. You can create your own stores. You can add some um, events. And it's the same way as a bank. I will cover this more extensively in um, another tutorial because this is quite involved and um, I want to be able, would like to be able um, okay we'll just try that I would be able to, would like to there this has changed where You can customize all of the menus, everything, everything you can customize. Um, I'm aiming on finishing now in about half an hour. Oh God, this is the longest stream I think I've ever done. I'm not used to it. So, I'm going to try and import an SGB. No, actually, first. Create a map, the biggest map. Um, I don't know what the maximum is that they would allow. It might crash. So it is. It's two hundred and fifty-six by two hundred and fifty-six. Confirm. That's the maximum size. Whoa, that is huge. Wow. Okay. Let's add, the, add some trees and see how well it populates. Why not do all of them? I hate this little window. When this pops up, it's kind of like messes everything up. I'll showcase that in another video. But, um, in order for them to appear in the object, you make them a 3D stamp. And then we can populate them with different things here. Um, still, okay. Rain. Plantation. Ten. Still, I I don't even know the key presses. That's handy. You can also, I wonder, yeah, um, raise the lower, and here's the lighting. Okay, another tree. I can already feel it slowing down. So it mm, my might crash.
Hey Angel Star, welcome. I mean, you know, I'm glad you could make it anyway, regardless. I know what it's like for things to take longer. Um, been there, done that. Testing out the maps. It's 256 by 256 official. Oh god, I can feel it. It's it's gonna crash. I got a I got a pretty good system. Not the best, but pretty good. Okay. Now here here's something. Um and race the terrain. And if you wanted to add some steps, there's no more models. Just pick one of the four high. Okay, that's facing the wrong direction. I think it's that one. Four high. And it will convert it automatically. No, nice cool feature I thought I'd have to point out. Um, same way with the slope. Before high pointing down. And there you have it. You can make this one corner. I don't know what that does. Okay. Figure that one out. That. Wow. See, see what happens. End up crashing it yet. Okay, adding a little bit of lighting now. It's just a very simple, simple one. We can have the sunlight. Light, which is bright, we can change the color. Let's go for a sort of more of a yellow. I want to scale this up actually. Okay, I'm going to move the cat. This is obviously like a much as I try <laughs> uh, the, I, I don't know exactly how many pulleys the trees have but uh, I think they sort of range anywhere from um, 30 all the way up to 70 ish I would have to I would have to check for sure um, not doing too badly is it um so the map settings a little bit about it this is to display the map name or not um i really like this feature in fact when the first sort of was released with the beta this is exactly what i sort of said hey wouldn't it be cool if you could have a map you could disable the map because it's you know Quite annoying there might be some maps that you didn't want it to be on like um uh like an introductory you know you have this annoying overlay that says hey start map or something um i'll go through all of these a bit later you can have uh you can register some cameras in the camera tool here and then depending which one you want to use um
Okay, yeah, this is a display map in its position. This is a brief. And if you, you can actually pin it as well, which is nice. So for rendering, these are all the presets for lighting. And yes, you can change the lighting. Skybox, whatever, within the events. So that's quite nice. I'm going to pin this again so you can see some of the effects. How about this? Just having the darkness because it would better enhance all of the light. Um, I'm going to move it. The pick. I'm going to add another light here, but this time it's going to be the spotlight. Two more. there a little bit of lighting I actually like this so in this one you can um, change the enemy dis enemy distribution a lot of it will rely on other the cameras so the viewpoint change it Or up or down, left or right, when you left click and right click. Same here. Um, I don't know what the manipulator is. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, the manipulator, those handle thingies. And then that's it. Uh, didn't manage to crash it, but I'm sure at some point we will be able to because the um, lot of trees here. Um, we do something like a little bit more serious, I think. Like this. Populate um, and scale it up. Maybe, <laughs> maybe this will crash. I'm determined. Okay. When you right click, you have a lot more options as well. By the way. And I noticed that they have a few more keys. This one I knew about. Put it on terrain, Q. And my rotation is T. I didn't know that. So I have to go through to check. Rotation. Um. Grid off. Let's 
So that's it. Um, got a little bit distracted, and so it's almost time to end the stream. But didn't manage to get the SGB project in. Actually, I will. Just one. And. what it will do so okay that's not it Project might have okay. Uh, one that I don't really need. Which would probably be this one. No. Yes, I don't want to back it up. As it's loading up, um, I am sure this has been, well, it, for me, it's been kind of entertaining because I did discover a few things that I didn't before. And, um, you know, it, there's, there's a lot to cover. It's kind of just probably not entirely viable in one live stream unless you just spend like five hours here just exploring every single thing so this is where the tutorials is going to come into play um i do have a lot in mind and if it's if it's going to be focused on the explorers guild idea then the tutorials will be more on its theme Yes. Okay. Yeah. What? Ninety-nine. Oh, I know what it is. I moved all of the resources, all of the assets somewhere else. Um, but it still imported the grains. Okay, that is okay. You can see the material then find find the material. That's why. Because it's not proper. So yeah, uh, some of the common events. Every single one. Let's let's see. We're gonna crash into this one, and then I'm gonna end the stream. Kind of opening it up. This one seems to be okay because this is pretty much just variables and the switches. Um, that one's okay. Damn. Um, seems to be okay. So, okay, if you display it or not.
Yeah, here we go. It's crashed. Or at least it's not working how it's supposed to. But for the most part, these see all seem to be in okay. Anyway, that is it. I'm going to end the stream here. Thank you all for coming in and keeping me company. Um, it probably won't be the last time I'll stream, except this time around, I'll I'll try to sort of like um, steer around when Ash or somebody else is. I, I will be live streaming every Sunday, regardless. Um, because I'm in the UK, it would probably be around 8 or 9 p.m. GMT um, for a couple of hours. And then I will have like regular, if there's some additional tutorials, I'll upload them more regularly. I'll keep the blog regularly updated. It, it's going to be much, much better than SGB because I have a little bit more time and motivation and drive and things seem to be getting a little bit better. Anyway, that's it. Thank you guys for hanging out. Um, talk to you soon. Uh, that's it for now. Till the next time.